everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Stacy. to my channel. I hope you all are doing great today and hello if you are new to my channel. My name is Stacy. I make weekly planning videos with the Happy Planner system and I would love to have you um, join our family here and consider subscribing to this channel. I would really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this video. So for today's video I'm going to be walking you through my new faith planning setup. Um, I want to call this a faith planner but it's actually a faith happy note so I have to decide if I want to call this my faith planner setup or my happy notes setup but um, I did change my faith planning routine and the products that I'm using um, if you've been following my channel you know that I started out with the pastel dreams bookbound happy planner for faith in the beginning of the year in my lineup but I found that I actually did want to customize it, add things, and take things out. And with the bookbound system, you cannot take anything out or add anything in. So um, I then actually switched, and I don't think I shared this on camera, but I switched to a mini, um, the mini wrong wrong horizontal happy planner for my faith planning um, because I started attending a weekly um, group at church that meets on Wednesday nights. So um, the mini was nice because it was portable for me to bring for our Bible study and, you know, wasn't too much to carry around. And then, with the coronavirus and everything going on, um, I decided to change my system again um, because while I was doing my devotions um, in my mini planner, I was just realizing that I needed more space and more room to write. So I did want to go back to the classic size for my faith planning, um, and I do actually have, I like to use horizontal um, layouts for faith planning, like to use as a journal, and I do actually have a faith planner, an 18 month faith planner that I purchased about a year ago on Amazon. I think it was one of the first ones that the Happy Planner released. Um, and I started using it, but it's way outdated and expired, which I will definitely use those inserts later on. But just for now, I wasn't really in the mood to, like, redate them and everything like that. So you'll see when I um, walk through this planner here for you that um, I had my Wrong Wrong Horizontal um, classic um, planner inserts laying around because I am no longer using them for the year. So I figured why not use those for my faith planning because like I said, um, I do want the horizontal and those are already dated for the rest of the year. So I figured instead of wasting them, I would utilize them. So let's get started with this walkthrough. So this is actually a faith happy notes. It's the classic size and it comes on mini purple plastic discs. I absolutely love this. I love it. It says rejoice in the Lord always Philippians 4.4. It's so beautiful. I love florals, so I really like this. This is the back. It's just absolutely gorgeous and it's perfect for faith planning. I purchased this a couple months ago at Hobby Lobby in store. I'm sure it's still available there because I I think this is one of the products that they like always have because it's not dated or anything like that. It's just a notebook. So I think you can definitely still find it at Hobby Lobby. Um, if I can find it online, I will link it for you in the description box below like I normally do. I try to link everything that I use in the video for you guys if you're interested in purchasing anything. So I'll see if I can find this, but if I can't online, I apologize, but it is in your um, ho local Hobby Lobby store. So I did customize it, and like I said, this is a Happy Notes, um, but I did customize it and add some inserts and I and planned with it. So let's get started with this walkthrough. So. The first thing I have in here is a divider, and this is from the um, outdated, the older faith planner that I mentioned. Um, I'll put a picture of it. Actually, no, hold on. I have it here. Let me show you. I'll show you what it looks like. This is 
the first faith planner I purchased from the Happy Planner. You might remember it and you might have gotten it yourself. It was an old 18 month one. And like I said, I purchased this on Amazon. Um, and I've just been pulling inserts when I need them. So this divider is from that planner. Obviously it's for July of the previous year, but I'm not using it for that. I just wanted it in here when I open up the notebook. I wanted to have a nice quote. So I love that it says a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. I love opening up to this every day and reading this as a reminder because it is so true considering the time that we're in to be grateful that we're still alive and, you know, able to live each day. So that is where this divider came from. And I'm not actually using the monthly layout for my faith planning right now. I've used it in the past, but I just found that I don't really need it right now. So this is just blank, and like I said, this is from an out the outdated faith planner. So I'm not worrying about this. I just really wanted this in here for the divider. And I, like I said, I was using the wrong wrong mini horizontal for my faith planning for the first couple months of the year. So I just threw the inserts in here that I was using for my faith planning just to have them in case I need to go back and reference them. And then this is where um, I started to switch over to the classic for faith. So these inserts were from that faith planner that I just showed you, that old faith planner. And I just changed the dates because I started using it at the end of the week. So like I said, I love the horizontal layout for Faith because I do use it in a journaling format, so I really like it. And then I have a sheet in here because this is the current week we're on. Um, I have some prayer requests that my group and I write down each week when we're praying for each other. So yeah, so these were those inserts. And then like I said, this is where I decided to Frankenplan. So I taped some pages together. And these are the pages that I'm using now. So these are the horizontal pages from the Wrong Wrong Hustle and Heart Classic Horizontal Planner that um, goes through this year. It was an 18 month. It came out last spring. It started in July. Um, you know if you've been watching my videos that I was going to use this as my catch-all planner, but then I decided to change my mind because I didn't want all of the decorative elements. So I figured how else can I use this planner so it doesn't go to waste. So now I'm using it for my faith journaling, for my daily devotions. Um, and let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing a separate video showing how I faith plan each day and what my faith planning routine looks like. I would be happy to film that for you. So let me know in the comments if you're interested. But I have this bookmark here for the week that I'm on. This was from the Faith Warrior collection that came out a while ago. It's not available anymore. But the Happy Planner always has these bookmark um, dashboards if you're interested. Then I have um, some note paper in here. This actually came with the Happy Notes. With this happy notes um these are some notes that i'm keeping track of for the week before my um, group meets online on wednesday so i have this in the current week so this is still the current week and like i said these are inserts from the wrong wrong collection so i put april in here and like i said i use these pages for my daily devotions and for um for our daily readings that i do with my church group so i write down notes as I read my Bible and study the word and then um, I get ready to share the notes on Wednesday night when we meet. So these are from the Wrong Wrong Planner. I put all of April in here because I do plan on using these inserts. Oops. And then I was, I think I had glue left over on these pages so I need to tape these pages together again. And then I threw the rest just for now of those the um, pages, weekly pages from the other faith planner, just in case I needed them as extra or if I changed my mind and didn't want to use the wrong, wrong ones anymore in April. I just threw the other ones in here. But this is what they look like. I like how they're neutral with like the rainbow. I think that's pretty. So that was everything that I Franken planned from other planners. So this is actually this divider where this happy notes begins when you buy it. So it is like a set of happy notes. So the happy notes actually starts here when you buy it. So it comes with three dividers just like the other um, happy notes from the happy planner do. So this is the first divider. It's so pretty. It says be still with the florals. And then the first divider, every divider has different pages. So 
This first divider here has weekly pages to do the SOAP method, which is scripture, observation, application, and prayer. I don't particularly use this method for my faith planning, um, but I did try it when I was using the Faith Warrior Planner that had that layout, and I did like it, so I'm going to keep these in here for when I want to grab them and use them, because they are very helpful in helping you apply the scripture you're reading to your everyday life. So that's... These are the pages under the first divider. They're all the same in that soap layout. This is the second divider that comes in the happy notes. It says, he has made everything beautiful in his time, Ecclesiastes 3.11. I think it's just so pretty. I don't know who de designed this, but whoever did, did an amazing job. And I did take notes from our online church service on Sunday here. So um, I'll show you an empty page. So this is what it looks like. So under this divider tab, these sheets are all the same, and it comes with a sheet that says, have a little faith, so it gives you room with some dotted lines to take some sermon notes, study notes, and then on the back, it has a section that says, loving well this week, how you love God, others, and yourself, and then it has a daily action tracker if you want to track your reading, your prayer, your gratitude, your blessings, and what you're grateful for. So I haven't used this side of the page, I've only used this side for sermon notes yet so but I do like to have them in here anyways I just kept everything in here that this notebook came with and I can always pull things out if I don't need them and then the last divider in this notebook is this one it says live a quiet life and work with your hands from first Thessalonians 411 love that as well and then this last divider it just comes with um lined note paper and the back side is dot grid so the front is lined the back side is Actually, it's not for all of them. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So, I apologize. So, the first half um, of the note paper in this divider is lined. I didn't know this. And then it switches to dot grid. So, that's kind of nice. So, you get a variety. And then in the back here, I added this folder in. This was from the Faith Warrior collection as well. And it has some stickers that came with it. And these are the handouts that I use for my church group. When we go over scripture, we go through some guided questions. Um, so I keep them back here to keep all my handouts nice and organized for when I need to grab them. And this is the back cover. So that is it for the walkthrough of my current faith planning setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sure some of you were interested in seeing this after... Um, I posted a picture on Instagram of it. A lot of people had questions about it. So I figured I'll just film a quick walkthrough video for you guys. This is just so beautiful. I'm really happy with this current setup. I will be using it for a while I know to come. So I think it's going to work really well for me. So thank you all so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and like it for me. Also subscribe to my channel, please. If you are not already, I would love to have you here. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Stacey Loves to Plan. And I wish you all a wonderful day, everyone. Take care, and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!